This piece started as a quick marker drawing in my sketchbook. I envisioned the image being of a waterfall in Hawaii called Akaka Falls, but I didn't know when I'd be able to get back there to photograph it. The opportunity came when I was home in Hawaii for my wedding. My wife and her family were the perfect models because they were A, tourists, and B, my father-in-law likes to wear a fanny pack on vacation. I took separate shots of each element in the painting so that the composition could be exactly what I wanted once everything was composite in Photoshop. I do this with all of my paintings when possible to avoid the distortion inherent in wide-angle camera lenses. I use a stain painting process that I've been perfecting over the last 10 years. Since I apply paint directly to untreated material, it's impossible for me to erase. Imagine getting dry red paint out of your favorite white shirt, and that's about what it would take for me to erase a mistake from one of my paintings. I will never use an assistant to make my paintings. I choose my subject matter very carefully, and I never make the same painting twice. I want a viewer who looks at my paintings to know that it meant enough to me to spend months of my life making it, so it's worth their time to look at it. Technology is and will further become intrinsic to the way we experience our lives. Vacation is the only time we, as a city-focused culture, commune and relate to nature. We mediate this experience with our digital photo and video capturing devices. This documentation replaces our memories. A memory changes over time depending on what we want it to be. The same part of our brain is activated when we remember something real as when we are asked to visualize our goals. When you have photos to look at, you attach those images to a memory, and in doing so, replace the memory. We delete the bad photos from a camera, keeping only the ones that make us look good, effectively creating a new reality in our memories. 